This video should help you understand the EKG leads and their appearance. We need to go over some basics first. Let's talk about the depolarization wave. Depolarization needs to happen before any contraction can happen. The depolarization wave is a positive wave. We also have the repolarization wave. Repolarization needs to happen before another depolarization can happen. The repolarization wave is a negative wave. So we have a positive depolarization wave moving towards a positive electrode. That will give us an upright wave. And if we have a negative repolarization wave moving towards a negative electrode, that will also give us an upright wave. If we have a positive depolarization wave moving away from its positive electrode, that will give us a downward wave. And if we have a negative repolarization wave moving away from its negative electrode, that will also give us a downward wave. So now we're going to talk about the EKG leads. Total, we have 12 EKG leads. These are divided into six precordial leads, which view the heart at a horizontal plane. We're not going to talk about those today to save some time. And then we have six limb leads. These view the heart at a frontal plane, and these are the ones we'll be discussing today. This will all make a little bit more sense if we actually draw the heart. We'll put the heart in red for obvious reasons and just to help you understand what's really going on with all these arrows. So these will be our ventricles. All right, so the first thing to depolarize is the atrium and that will be a positive because it's depolarization. Then we have the intraventricular septum, which is also a positive because we're still talking about depolarization. And now our ventricle will give a really strong positive wave. And then our base on either side will also be a positive wave. Then we'll have the negative repolarization of the ventricle shown by a negative blue wave. All of the arrows in green are the depolarization, and in blue will be our repolarization, just to keep things clear. So let's start by talking about lead one. Let's draw our little stick figure man, and he will represent where the electrodes are placed. So in lead one, the positive electrode will be on the left side. This will be the current arrow. So the atrium is a positive, moving in the direction of the positive, so it will give an upright wave. Next, the intraventricular septum is a positive, moving away towards the negative, so it will have a negative. Then we have our strong ventricular depolarization moving towards the positive electrode, and that will give us a strong upright wave. Then we have our base, which is moving away from the positive towards the negative, and that will give us a downward slope. Now we have our blue negative repolarization wave moving towards the negative, and that will give us an upright slope. So that is lead one. Let's look at lead two. In lead two, we're going to draw our little stick figure man, and he will represent that the positive electrode is actually in the left leg, or on the left leg, I should say. And the negative is on the right arm. This will be our current wave. So we have the atrial depolarization moving towards the positive electrode, giving an upright wave. We have the intraventricular septum moving away towards the negative, giving a downward wave. And we have our strong positive ventricular depolarization giving a strong upright because it moves towards the positive. And now our bases are moving away, giving a downward. 
Lastly, we have our repolarization moving towards a negative, giving an upright wave. Now let's talk about lead three. In lead three, we'll draw our stick man. It's a funny looking three. We'll draw our stick man, and he will also have the positive electrode in his left leg, but this time he'll have the negative electrode in his left arm. This will give the current, let me just adjust this really quick. This will give the current moving down the body. So let's start by looking at the atrial depolarization again. It is moving towards towards the positive, and that will give us an upright slope. Now the intraventricular septum moving away will give us a downward. Our ventricle moving towards the positive will give us a strong upward, and then we'll have the base moving away giving a strong downward. Now we have our repolarization wave once again, negative moving towards the negative, and that is going to give us an upward slope. So that is our lead three. Now let's look over at AVL, AVF, and AVR. Let me just adjust this. Okay. Let's start by looking at AVR. You can remember AVR because of R, it's going to start, the positive will be in the right arm. So let's draw our little stick man, and he is going to have his positive electrode in his right arm. And now his left arm and left leg will both have negative electrodes. This is a little different than lead three one, two, and three, because there's three electrodes being placed on the body. This will give us a current moving towards the positive, always towards the positive electrode. So let's start by looking at the atrial depolarization. It is a positive moving away from the positive. That's actually going to give us a downward slope. Now we have the intraventricular septum, which is a positive, moving towards the positive, and that's going to give us an upright slope. We have the ventricle moving away, and that's going to give us a strong downward. And then we have our base depolarization moving towards, it's going to give us an upright slope. Now we have our negative repolarization wave moving away towards the positive that's going to give us a downward slope. It's our AVR. Now, let's talk about our AVL. You can think of L for left arm. So our positive electrode will be in the left arm. So let's draw our little stick man. He is going to have his positive electrode in his left arm. So let's put the positive in the left, and the negative will be in the right arm and left leg. Okay, so let's start by looking at the atrial depolarization. It is moving in the direction of the positive electrode, giving us an upright wave. Then we have our intraventricular septum. That is moving away, giving us a downward. Our ventricle moving in the direction, a strong direction of the positive, giving us a strong upright wave. And we have our base moving away from the positive and that towards the negative, and that gives us a downward wave. 
And now, looking at the repolarization, a negative wave, moving towards the negative, that's going to give us an upright wave. And so that is AVL. Now, lastly, we're going to look at AVF. How I look at, how I think about it is AVF, I think your left leg is inferior to your body. I know both of your legs are inferior, but we only put electrodes that matter on the left leg and never the right, so that can be a good reminder for you. So F for inferior. So let's draw our stick man, and we're going to put our positive electrode on his left leg and the negative on his right arm and left arm. We're going to start again by looking always at the atrial because that depolarizes first and it is a positive moving towards a positive so that gives us a upright wave. Next we have the intraventricular septum moving away that's going to give us a downward wave and then we have our strong pull from our ventricle, positive towards a positive, gives us a strong upright wave. And then we have our base, which is moving away towards a negative. And that is going to give us our downward. Lastly, we have our repolarization wave again, and it is moving towards the negative, which is going to give us an upright wave. Thank you for watching AZ Medical videos. Please subscribe down below.